Nice shooting, son. Thanks, Pa. Now I think we'd better be doing some real hunting. One thing, hunting's another. I suppose, but I can't rightly see the difference. Well, the difference is hunting is for eating purposes. Uh, if you, you didn't kill this uh, rabbit, it's likely that a hawk or a coyote would. It's just right and proper. Now, of course, if you was just to kill it and leave it for no good reason, why, that's not hunting. That's killing. And that's, that's wrong. Hey, Mama, the rest of those biscuits ready yet? Yep, they're coming along. A little more milk in here. Just a little. Oh, lovely. It's going to be a hot one today. Sure is. Ooh. Oatmeal and biscuits. Why, the sand of it's enough to bring a man in. Start a belly talking. You feeling ill, Tom? Oh, it's nothing that ain't natural. Back. Hunted it down myself. Good. We'll be having stew. What are you doing in my town? Uh, that's some kind of welcome. Ain't no welcome. It's a warning. Now, uh, pick up what you need. And I want you out of here in one hour. One hour? One hour. It's a handsome watch. My hand. Oh, that's clumsy of me. Just make your mark right here. Mm -hmm. 
know how to sign your name. I see you had some schooling. That's more than most around here can say. I suppose there's more where these came from. I can't hear you. But I heard you. Quality like that ought to bring you in 10, maybe 11 dollars an ounce. Like I said, we'll find. 10, 11 an ounce. Woo -wee. Congratulations, Isaac. You did real well, Isaac. <laughs> You've been up there in them hills for so long there, we figured you were gone. Now, now, Dewey, be nice to old Isaac here. I guess he's a bit shy of being with real people again. Well, we just ain't plain old people, Grover. We're more like friends. Friends? <laughs> Shoot, we're more than friends. Now I'm thinking of taking on Isaac here as a partner. Right, partners. A <laughs> partner, that's the way that is. Yeah, he should be thanking us. No, no, I no need here for thank yous. No, I'd worry myself to... Here, having to take care of all that money. You see, Isaac, gold means money. And money, that takes looking after. And looking after something means responsibility. What do you know about responsibility? Now, I know about responsibility. So I'm going to be responsible now. Help you carry that old bag right out of here. Let me see it, partner. <laughs> What'd you do that for, Dewey? Shoot him, you blind toad! Put your guns down. Just slide him over here. Now get down on your bellies. Brother George? George is dead, Grover. I know that. You shot him yourself, you blind. Black one is very good. He made three of them lie with their face on the floor. And there was another one there. And uh, he was dead, but I don't know how. Did you see what was worth dying for? The black one had something in his saddlebag, but I do not know why. But there was, there was another man there hiding, like a woman. Maybe he knows something. Let's go ask him.
no need for that, mister. I ain't bringing no trouble. Appreciate a little water from a horse, and I'll be on the way. You're riding pretty hard there. Well, I got a lot of ground to cover. Some hot coffee won't keep you back, none. And you'll profit by it later on. Well, I do have to taste the dust in my throat, ma'am. Like I said, mister, you don't need that. Well, uh, I'm Matthew Thurston, and this here's my boy, Tom. Tom? Hi. My wife, Beth, and our daughter, Lisa. And my name is Isaac. Well, I gotta be getting on. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Good luck, Isaac. Thank you, mister. They'll come in right handy on the trail. Adios. Pa, can I go hunting in the canyon? Chores are done, I suppose. You don't go wandering too far, so Pa will have to come looking for you. Don't worry. I've been learning things. That boy's growing up, Beth. Well, you know, that boy, he can track an animal over a dry rock better than most men. He's probably out there sleeping under some tree, dodging his chores. Now, don't you go belittling your brother like that. His learning's gonna save me some time for some other things. Lisa, get into the wagon. What is it, Matthew? Do I have to? Do as I say, and quickly. Don't you come out until I tell you. much money. We don't want your money. Then go away. Leave us be. Look, I don't want any trouble. You take what you want and leave. <laughs> Very good. enough to feed all these hungry men. Hey, Zeus. See? Kill the cow.
celebrate my birthday! <laughs> <laughs> music! Let me have music! Come on, man. Show us. Come, senora, we will dance! <laughs> <laughs> I think she's too strong for you! <laughs> I think it's time I found out just what kind of a woman you really are. <laughs> hey, Sue. See? No, for God's sake! Don't, don't, please, please. No, please don't.
McLean! McLean! I meet you at Peebus Canyon. I forgot something. Where did you come from? Who are you? You killer! Go to hell! <laughs> I probably will.
Hey, amigo. A wagon full of surprises. Water, supplies, and the most valuable possession. <laughs> All sorts of possibilities. He wants to be pretty for his senorita, eh, Lupe? And why not? I think she likes me already, eh? Huh? Oh, see, amigo. I see our love burns for you. <laughs> so, Chiquita, what are we going to do with you? Would you like a drink, senorita? Concerned for her welfare, eh, Ricky? That's good. Just wonder how long she has been in the wagon with that water. Ricardo here is responsible for watering the horses. You can understand his concern. Now, haven't you got anything to say for his uh, kindness? Well, I guess you got your answer, Ricky. When she's ready, she'll drink. Don't you usually find it that way? With the horses, see. Si. Ricardo's very young, but don't make a mistake. He's not much different than the others. He'll buy and sell you for a peso. You're wondering what we're going to do to you, aren't you? Aha. Uh -huh. A reaction? Let's see if the rest of the men are fit. Looks like you made yourself a friend. Hey, I'm talking to you. You planning on killing me? Eat your food. I don't want anything from you. Please. Orlando's horse. But where is Orlando?
don't. Don't do it. We better find him before sundown. If he's still alive. Ah! Ah! Pablo, hey, Pablo, get up. Hey, hey, wake up. Wake up. Come on, we gotta find Orlando.
better split up. We'll have a better chance to find him. We better find him together. No, you go that way. I'll go this way. We'll meet back here at sundown. Adios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing's one thing, hunting's another.
I did it. I got him. Oh, hold it! Hold it! Get out of the way! Oh. Hold it! That goddamn little rich that grow with something else. You hear that, brother George? You're rich. <laughs> hey, Grover, how much you got there? Come on, tell me. Well, this stuff's pretty rich. I say it's got an assay out over 200 pounds. 200 pounds? Don't you'll spill that. Now. That's 200 pounds, Dewey. Yeah, how much would I get, Grover? How much money would I get? Well, let me, let me think here. I gotta figure this out. If it's 200 pounds, and this is a guess. Don't worry about his guess. Uh, Gotta be eight or nine there for each of us. Eight or nine? <laughs> Doggone. And we're gonna double that within a year, you know. That's right. And we don't have to share with that partner right there. <clears throat> Ain't you glad at that? I saw them boys right in the town, oh, Grover. Hey, aren't I glad? <laughs> eight or nine hundred dollars. No, no. 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 Thousand dollars. Thousand? Thousand? Thousand! Eight or nine thousand dollars for each one of us! You mean to tell That's me this wheelbarrow's <laughs> got eight or nine thousand just for me? No! We've got more partners. One for the mine. <laughs> You got my go. <laughs> Might as well set me free. Set you free? You know I can't do that. But you might get lucky. And then maybe you could mine us out some more gold. We'll be back and see you again. Hey, sir. See? Yeah. He's side, he says. Jesus, kill that man. Kill him. But in here, I know I will not do it. So, I gift you your life. Adios, amigo. Hey, boy, me, Isaac, remember? Come 
I'm gonna put the gun up and cut me loose. I ain't cutting anyone loose. You're probably one of the gang. I should kill you. Now you tell me where my sister is right now. Look, I'm not one of the gang and I don't know where your sister is. You know all right. Look, you gotta believe me. I don't know where she is. Why should I believe you? You're probably with those outlaws. Come on, use your head, boy. I'd be tied up like this if I was one of them. Huh? I don't know. I can't tell anymore. What's wrong with you, boy? What are you doing out here anyway? Where are you folks? They're dead. Those men killed them. Sorry. Don't blame me for not trusting you. As you can see, I'm not one of them. So come on, cut me loose. Maybe I can help you. You rode into our camp. You look like you're riding pretty hard. Are they after you then? I've never seen them before. That one over there and his friends are after me and my gold. Well, then they've got my sister. <clears throat> yeah. And they got my gold. Three hard years of pick splitting rocks. <sighs> Ain't you going after them? thinking about that. It's a lot of them. Odds are kind of heavy. If I'm gonna get killed, I guess I'm gonna do it alone. Well, come on, I'll take you to town first. No one's taking me to town. What about my sister? There's nothing a boy your age can do about that. Now, come on, I'll get you settled. Tom, now where do you think you're going? I don't think anything. I'm going after my sister and those men. You don't know what you're doing. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Maybe. But if I die, it won't be alone. Hello. I think it's all clear, uh, Grover. Oh. Oh, right there. What the hell are you doing? I'm just going to signal for help, Grover. Push that away, you jackass. You'll have him back here on us. Oh, my foot is killing me. Oh. Ow! Ow! God, it's dead. Oh. Grover, oh. I'm trying to take your boot off without hurting you now. Hurting me? You're damn near killing me. Oh, Grover, now come on with me. Uh, ow! Ow! Go! Oh! Oh! That wasn't so bad, was it? Grover. Ow! Grover? I didn't go no place. Where's your two toes, Grover? My toes? What? Oh, no, not my toes. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it's better your toes and your fingers. I think that's kind of lucky. Help me up on my feet. I gotta think of a way we can get our gold back. Ow, ow, you're on my toes. I was not on your toes. Get away toe. from me. Oh, God. Oh, get away from me. I didn't stand on your toe. Isn't that part of an army officer's uniform? That's right. How did you ever get it? How? By 
had taken it off of the officer that wore it. Oh, he was a bad man. Besides, it fits me better anyway. Well? Well, what? Well, tell me the rest of the story. Did you rape his wife? No. Did you kidnap his children? No. You weren't kidnapped. That's right. I hid in the back of the wagon. And if I hadn't... If you hadn't, you'd have been dead, and I'd probably been better off. Your father was a fool. For trying to protect his family? For dying to protect them. For dying. Don't you touch me! Now, I wouldn't try anything stupid, like running away or something. Well, if I were you, I'd keep me tied up, because the first chance I get, I'm going to get now, out of here. Now, you're not going to last half a day out there alone. You're too soft. Get away from me! I can't stand the smell of you! I can't stand the smell of your stinking men! I can't even stand the smell of myself. There's a river right down over there. You can bathe. Oh, your friends would just love that. Ricardo! Mm -hmm. Ricardo, will you take this young lady down to the river and see that she's not bothered? Well, what about him? Him? <laughs> He's a gentleman. And you're a snake. And you're asking for trouble. I'm asking to be left alone. Ricardo, take her down to the river. You ask me things that I cannot answer. Oh, you won't. It's the same. You see, my grave would be covered in ten minutes if McLean knew we even talk about these things. Why are you afraid to tell me? No afraid, senorita. Wise. But nothing's going to happen to you. That's enough. All right, if you must know, I tell you. The prisoners are sold. See, si. sold to the highest bidder. Like cattle. what we wanted. And you're gonna tell him the gold, I suppose. Then he'll know where we are and plug us for sure.
Be quiet. We're right on top of them here. They could not have vanished. They are cursed with death by a devil who goes up in smoke. Those men are real, Jesus. And we'll see them again. Maybe next time they won't be so lucky. very foolish to try and run away if one of the other men would catch you alone. Let me go! That I cannot do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks, Isaac. Thought I was a goner. Yeah. Hello. 
know what's going on around here, but by God, I'm going to find out. Put out that fire. The smoke can be seen for miles. Hey, Zeus. What do you make of this? McLean. The worker, the devil. yourself killed if you don't take it easy. Now, you can't help your sister by going running off. So think, boy. Maybe we can do something about it. Adios, bandito. Carmella. The whole town came out to greet me, and where was my Carmella? Exactly where you want me to be. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll show you what's worth waiting for. What do you think they're going to do with Lisa? Well, the way I figured, we can't give them a chance to do anything with her. We? What about your gold? Well, one ain't separate from the other. We'll get them both or none. Now, don't get me wrong, Tom. That gold means a lot more to me than you know. Take a whole lot of doing getting in there. They can see us coming from just about every direction. Maybe we'll have to move around and get a closer look. See what we're up against. That is green! Ah! <laughs> hey! 
then it goes to the ground like this. <gasps> He was dying, and then McLean went, boom! And it was all over. Orlando, Miguel, Juan, Cortez, Oh, it was a devil's ride. The devil doesn't have the gold. We do. And the men that killed our friends, they'll be back. This is good. We're safe here. Let's have us a little look safe. Showed up here at a better time, either. We're gonna sit right here and wait. For what? <laughs> My two partners down there to show us the best way in that village. That a military man does before you engage the enemy is check out your equipment. Make sure it's all in top shape, see? Well, I ain't saying that I was an officer or anything. That don't mean I don't know military ways. Like this, for instance. Look at here. Oh, here, I'm showing you something. Look. When I go like this, that means come on ahead, see? Forward. Is that right? Okay. Now, look. When I go like this, see? Get down. It means get down. Roll. Get down on your belly. See? Now, when I, uh... Well, hell, that's about all there is to it. You think you can remember them two things? Well, sure I can. This one means come on ahead. Right. This one means get down low. That's it. You got it? Come on. Let's go. Let's move it out. Ow! God. Grover? What? They sure missed a good officer when they missed out on you. <laughs> Tell me about it. Come on. We've got visitors. Now let's go put that gold in the same place. That sure is going to be easy pickings, isn't it? Hey, we can get in and out of there lickety-split. Don't forget, you can't run too fast now. What'd you do that for? Ned, Ned, Ned. Grover. What is that? What's what? This one. You think there's enough dynamite there to wipe them all out? Just enough to keep them clear of us. I ain't out for no killing, Tom. Shoot it! Don't shoot it! I'm 
be this quiet. Don't step on the duck. What's that? My match is going out. Well, wait another one. Here, look here. It's, this here's our gold. <laughs> what a bunch of dummies making it so easy on us. Don't you give them too much credit. It was your military things that got us in here so good. You devils. <laughs> devils are gone. I feel rich and free. <laughs> then maybe the time has come. Time has come for a white compadre to go home. Home? <laughs> <laughs> if only that could be. In our village, they wait for Jesus to come so they can hang him from the city hall. Right alongside of Lufa, huh? <laughs> now, my gold will buy anything. Buy your freedom. Well, perhaps. What are you going to do, compadre? I guess I go home. <laughs> you get. <laughs> you are making fun with your friend, eh? You don't leave me here with your two bastardos. What is this madness? This should be a, a celebration. To the goal! To the goal! Oh! Join the others. You think Jesus is right? Those two men we killed, they were devils? Uh, they bring us trouble, no? Uh, Just like the blonde girl. Maybe we should kill her too.
You are a lucky girl. I will do much more than that. <laughs> I'm going to show you why you will pray that it's Lupa who will buy you tomorrow. Ricardo, I'm gonna kill you for this. Ah! Ah! Are you okay? What happened to you? Okay, now you two gotta break this up. Are you okay, Lisa? Can you get some horses? Si, senor. Hey, Tom, you two take Lisa out of here. There's gonna be a lot of shooting going on. What about you, Isaac? But I still got to get my goal. Well, maybe I can... But maybe your sister needs you a whole lot more than me, boy. Now get on out of here. Okay. Lupe's dead! Lupe's dead! You have seen the devil in your sleep! No, Lupe's dead. The man and the girl, they have gone. Talk to me. A man, desire, and of a color I never seen before. I knew I should have killed this man. You really expect us to let you give back the gold? Jesus! See? Cover me! I understand. We take it back, amigo. You damn right we will. It's real fine. Just come on in here. Slowly. Good. You just put my gold right on top of that stone. Whatever you say. Slowly. Now you put your hands up real high. Now you just back on out of here.
I think you've played this game before. Once or twice. is a black devil. I could not have missed him. You just don't listen, do you, boy? I thought you might be in trouble. Here, take this door. Get inside. When you get going, I'll catch up to you later. What about you? Well, I got a little something to leave behind. Senor, you are one hell of a fighting man. You have my compliments. Get out of here. I'll meet up with you later. But they will kill you. Go on! Go on. Boy, I'm glad to see you're not hurt. Oh, look around you. Hasn't there been enough killing? What's your name, son? We could be friends. Come on. Hand me the gun. Come on, I'll take you home. 